Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And this vlog initially was inspired by some of my patrons in the Discord doing a 5k for five day challenge. They'd actually done one the week before and were like, we're gonna do it again. So like 5k for 10 days, which is wild to me. Now I'm currently between drafts on Project Death and I'm not yet slated to start working on that. I have a little bit of world building left before I'd like to start drafting again, but I've also been working on this kind of serialized project that I thought would be really fun. I've been doing some world building, character backstory, you know, just brainstorming work. And I was like, you know what? I have five episodes episodes. <laughs> already mapped out, already plotted, along with some kind of big overarching structure for the first season if we wanted to call it that. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the terminology. And as each episode might might be about 5,000 words, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and participate alongside y'all at least for three days. I have a friend coming in town on the back side of this, so I was like, you know what? I think, I think I could try and do it. So my goal was three episodes and three days. And so without further ado, here is that attempt. And the whole thing does indeed feel like an attempt as this is something new that I'm trying, this sort of serialized work, but also because for the life of me, I could not figure out what I wanted the first sentence to be. <laughs> the first sentence, the first paragraph, as you will see in this time lapse, I reworked it like five, six, ten different times. <laughs> Okay, let's hope I can at least get a first line that I will stick to now. Mm. Okay, it is now afternoon and I only just about 532 words. Figuring out exactly where to start this was a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, but now I filled in everything and I'm feeling much more solid about it. So we're going to progress into this for the rest of the episode and whew, I think I have the banter between the sisters down pretty well. You know it's been hundreds of years that they have been stuck together uh, both by choice and also for protection. So the, the bickering is just what I wanted to nail. Sisterly love, you know? <laughs> if I could actually add a bit where it's like a joke about how it doesn't feel like a day over 400 years with them or something, <laughs> I might figure out a way to do that. But anyways, that is still technically only this first scene and then the rest of it is going to be a little bit longer. So I'm only working for first draft here, so I really shouldn't be questioning it too much, but I'm glad I got it all filled in. We'll just hope that the next, you know, 500, 1,000, 4,500 words <laughs> don't take that long. Don't mind the sheer number of research I have up, but look at this. I'm at 2,000 words. I need to bridge this little gap here, and then I will be on to the next portion of the scene, which is trying to sort of hunt down who these warlocks might be, even though we don't know they're warlocks yet. Warlocks. Anyways, I, I feel like it's flowing better. 2,000 words. It is 3 p.m. I obviously finished my bribe, and I'm now on to another snack slash lunch since I had a big breakfast. <laughs> But I do also have a stream, a Patreon stream. So we're gonna do that. Oh, it is already time. Oh no, I've messed up. <laughs> Enter studio. Whoa, people are here. At the stream. Brand. Countdown. Panic. <laughs> Go live. For 
the last of our sprint, we had uh, <laughs> only a two minute one. And so I like worked all around in a funky fashion and connected it. I got 73 birds, it gave me a giggle. Anyhow, I am now at 3,150 words in this episode slash chapter slash however you want to think about it. And I am feeling really positive. Today's actually the first day in a while where I haven't tried to do any other work. It has just been exclusively writing work and it feels really, really good. It's so nice when I get just writing work days. I did have to push some stuff off in order to have it today, <laughs> but that's okay, well worth it. I do still think I'll hit about 4K in this chapter. So again, not quite the 5K for five days that the other people are doing. Maybe it'll be like a 4K for four days for me. <laughs> because I do have a friend coming to stay with us at the end of the week, so it might just be four days, but I outlined five episodes in full. So fingers crossed. Plus I decided to work now, so even if I have to put one off, but I don't want to think that yet. I want to think that I can get all five episodes. But it was a great stream, and now I am going to take a little bit of a brain break and try to watch Love Island, which premiered today. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> It is now almost eight o'clock. I have the rhythmic sound of destruction and battle in the background. <laughs> and I am now ready to return and see if I can't get 850 more words. <laughs> this is me now, angry and determined. <laughs> So first draft I actually finished off at 3,884, so I didn't quite make it to 4,000, but it feels pretty good. I hit all of the beats that I'd planned to at the beginning. I like the characters, which is wonderful. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. I feel like it's a good setup for what's to come in the overall story. I will have to go back and add in a couple more descriptions, particularly about characters, but I always have to do that. So I imagine that by the end of the editing process, I will be about up to 4,000. So hooray. Day one of this experiment is in the books. I have a couple of little things to get done today before I am into the writing, but I'm very excited for episode two, where I'm going to be switching the main perspective between the sisters. Um, last chapter was really a more Ruby-led chapter. This one's going to open and be more Opal-led chapter. It's going to be kind of fun because the actual timeline, if you were to look at it, there's a little bit of crossover because Ruby goes on the hunt. Uh, for who these warlocks might be, and Opal warlocks. And Opal is back at their shop and the warlocks come into the shop. And so that's kind of, uh, Ruby did discover something at the end though. And so then Opal's going to just kind of feel stuff out and discover things and they're gonna meet back up. But it's gonna be, yes, nonsensical fun, yes. But until then, get just a couple things done. So, aided by my coffee. Let's do this. Oh. Also, Zelda came over. She's been laying here because Vin has now taken over this spot. Neither of them used to want to lay there, but now they're doing it all the time. We just finished her walk, so she has to wait to get food and she's not about that life. <laughs> 15 more minutes, big girl.
I beat it. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? <laughs> We're hitting the hundreds again. But I'm taking a quick break to run some errands. And then the rest of the day will hopefully, I think I played it out, the rest of the day is just writing. So, yay! So I've been typing a little bit during Love Island, but especially during the commercials because I just muted. it. I'm now at 818 words. I'm setting up some of the baby witches that are going to be important later in the story, but also like two episodes from now, which will be cool. I think it's like a fun little hint uh, at what's potentially to come. And we are just about to meet our warlocks slash two of the members of the High Council. and. I'm very excited. Of course, because they're trying to be sneaky and then my sisters that I'm writing are also in hiding, so they're being sneaky. And so it's just kind of this convoluted fun of we think you're these people on both sides, but like not being sure. <laughs> we'll see how many more this episode ends up being. Now, unfortunately, I have been having some more problems with migraines as of lately. This is something I've had to deal with since I was a uh, preteen, but it has surged up again. Um, thankfully, not as bad as it used to be, but still like not great and much more often than I would like and have become used to. So unfortunately, I did have one that kind of took me out on the last bit of day two um, into how I slept, which was very poor. So day three was a, a long start, uh, just trying to get used to the amount of light again, <sighs> seeing a screen. Uh, all of that jazz. So I worked in bed and I got a little bit done, but not a lot of bit done. At least not up until my Twitch stream. There, because I was behind, decided that I wanted to do full chaos. For those of you who are this is your first day, welcome. We've never done this before. Um, we might not ever do it again. So uh, as you'll know, we usually have three main methods of chaos and I call it chaos just that's how we decide how long we're going to be sprinting for. Um, we do the oracle cards so these ones are 1 to 45 and sometimes you can guess you can be the magic unicorn and the magic rhino depending on if you guess correctly okay 45 1 to 45 we'll do the d100 those are Fridays d100 day and then we have these tinkly skull dice so this is what they look like they're very very pretty and uh they're tinkly Zelda Oh my gosh, okay. So my <laughs> my proposal for Full Chaos Day is that we do all of them. <laughs> is that, and not just do all of them, but like roll them all, pull them all at the same time for one ginormous sprint. not quite as scary as I thought it would be. A whole 57 minutes and then a four minute sprint at the very end to top us off. <laughs> and now here we are at drink heavily o'clock. Although I guess technically it's start over still. Anyways. <laughs>
and I'm very close to finishing the second episode. So I'm gonna go and try to do that on the couch real quick and then we'll see if I can start and or finish the third episode today. Uh, it's tough. I never like to push it too much. Um, thankfully the migraine was mostly when I was asleep so those are always better for me um, in terms of recovery but you know so it goes such as life all of those things um that said the project has been really fun so this has been the best part about it is like i wish i had more done in it but i don't feel bad about it i feel great about the amount of work i've been able to achieve and getting to these characters and all of the fun things so anyways i have this last little reveal of ruby being like i'm glad you're not freaking out noble here's something to make you freak out those were the warlocks not witches <laughs> and potentially the people who are after us, but maybe not, you know? Maybe they aren't, and you just invited them over and it's fine. So <laughs> I get to play around with that, and I'm really excited. And um, in the next episode, I get to tease a little bit more of the, the flirtationship that Opal has with the mayor, and that'll be really fun. So anyways, uh, yeah, just, just cool things. I'm excited. Um, this was one of my things with Project Death, is I actually realized that at least in the first half. I really nailed the ending of some chapters where it makes you want to like keep reading. It feels like I could stop here, but why would I? I need to know what happens next. Um, and I think that's really the interesting thing about serials that I'm noticing or learning is that every time it needs to have like a, ooh, we gotta keep them coming back, keep them wanting more, keep them picking up the next episode or the next installment or whatever. So anyways, Yes. It's like you have to solve one problem. So it's like you have to, if you're almost ending on a question um, or a potential question, you need to answer another one within the episode and then ask another one. So it's kind of just this like, ooh, or that's how I'm interpreting it. I'd love to know more about people who have written serials and what they think. So anyways, I'm having fun with it. Let us go finish episode two. Yeah. No carpet. <laughs> I am getting ready for my friend to come over, so I figured I would film the end of this video. So over the course of the two new episodes, I'm now at 6,917 words for the first drafts, which is not 5k for five days, three episodes in three days, no. But I am very excited with what I got done, with what I have on the page, and the way that what I outlined is actually really taking form on the page. I feel like I'm making it better as I kind of go from the initial idea, sticking to that idea, because um, I think that's gonna be really the thing that is the most interesting for me with this sort of serial concept is that you get to play around a lot. It doesn't have to follow a completely the same arc, though it needs to follow similar structure. But you can have sort of one-off episodes that are just kind of seemingly nonsensical. They should always probably tie into growing the character or the world or whatever, but like they can be just a little bit more silly. And I feel like this story is very silly. <laughs> so kind of taking what I have in the outline and just continuing to make it better. And I think during the next draft, I'll just make it even better too with more description and kind of making the world seem a little bit more lush, making their shop be what I want it to be. Basically making what I have in my head available on the page for others to get into. But as it is crunch time for getting everything ready for my friend to come over, that's going to be it for this video. Please do comment down below. Let me know if you've ever tried to write anything that's kind of serial in nature, including fan fiction. And if you have, let me know what you think the differences are in terms of structure for these kind of serial projects versus novels, let's say. And how closely do they almost like go with a more comic 
or a manga sort of mindset potentially. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. J, A, C, C, Helena, Echo, and Chana Roth. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye!